Well, thanks everybody for coming once more in our new video where we debate one of the topics that was suggested by one of our watchers. So, all the topic that we're going to debate is created by with the, uh, all this spiral staircase. So, we're going to debate spiral staircase. There we have one case. So, we're going to or design this staircase with RSA, I mean rubber based structural analysis uh, before getting any functions. I think you those who previously watched my video they recognize my voice first of all but let me just try to give a brief introduction by myself. I am your guide, I'm search duty, I'm an engineer in building and public works and all from Jasa and uh, I'm civil engineer from Atlantic National University where I'm doing my specialization on road and bridge design. I'm structural design engineer at African Engineering and Consulting DRC. You can contact me through one of the best way that you fit into better. So you can contact me through Facebook, such on duty, Twitter, LinkedIn, or through this mail address. You can get me, or you can contact me through this phone number. So, uh, today, as I said previously, we're going to debate, I mean, we go design spiral staircase with ERISA. ERISA means very bad structural analysis. Our case, our today case is that we have as an input, we have three meter as the head of our staircase. So mean that we want to lift from the ground floor to the first floor. So our radius is a one meter. So means once you have those two values as input, so before going strictly in uh, ERISA, I mean, uh, rubber structural analysis, this let me close first my previous project. So, what I was saying before working with uh, ERISA, I mean, rubber structural analysis, I think it's best, it's better. Uh, what was that? It's, oh, sorry. Yes, oh, oh, oh. yes, it's better start by thinking about all those conditions. Means that once you have three meters as a head, you need to find the number of rising. The number of rising, I mean, you go find it like this. Oh, I mean, number of rising is you take the head three meter, you put it just a centimeter, divided by. 17 you have 18 as a value 18 is the number of rising once you have the number of rising you can div you have to divide it at the height with three meter but with the number of the rising you can find the, the size of rising it means that 18 centimeter once you have the rising you need to find the going the going to find the going, you have a number of rising minus one. Means that we have this number minus one. It's given that we have 17. So once you have all those values, remember that once you have this pure staircase, it means that you have 270 degrees. 270 degrees equals equals in this value equals in this value so this value so what we going to do now what we going to do is once you have the development i mean development of uh once you have the development of a uh, circular development development is given like this you have uh, you have this this is the development the development but because why we, we have uh, the first value here it's just because as I said before we have this it's 
270 degrees and now it's 360 no but it's 270 degrees so that's why we have this value before so to find the development we have our radius our radius is one meter it means 100 centimeter so we have all those values once you recount that you have this value once you have the development this is the development this development means is this once you have this from here once you going like this then rising till here it means that you have this value you have this value for this development we need to know the size of our column the column zero this is the column is that the column so the column should be circular as a circular column so you need to find it uh, with uh, this formula means that you have the geometry length uh, with the with the coefficient element of uh, stability statement and stiffness divided by 50 it means that we have the length the length here it's equal to the end of uh, of our step means what once we put I mean 3000 means that we bring in a millimeter so once you have 3000 divided by 50 you have this value to find out this size you need to go on a table to go on a table like this mm, please let me bring you back on the first page like this we we'll go on a table, we we'll find the round, the T round profile. Means that we have the T round. So we need to check, we need to check this value because that's what we were looking for. This value it's equal to 60. So we need to go till there till there so it's for 60 so we have here our value is this one so you can see that it's uh, it's 61 so it's not less than uh, 60 so it's better to take this profile okay you need now to find the the I mean the the principal development to find the principal development means that you need to take this value divide it by the number of rising the number of rising is here I take the development divided by the number of rising I found this value this value means what what is this value let me bring you bring light on mind so for that i think you better understand it here let me check this weight what is this value this value this value is this 28 meter 28 meter that the value that we have here once you have the principal, once you have the principal development, you need to find the secondary development. To find the secondary development, it's simple. You now have, you just have to take the the I mean the diameter of the of your your your, your profile column profile divided by the number of rising. Once we divide, we have ten millimeter. It means what? The value here it's 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter is enough for our structures. Means what? So let me come back once more. So here we have 10. So you need to know the degree. You need to know the angle. To find the angle of your stair, you just have to find when we have principal development principal development divided by the radius divided by the radius we don't we know that the radius is we have one meter 
but in reality one meter minus this it's minus this why minus this because the profile is this and this is the diameter so we need to find the radius the radius is diameter divided by two so we have this as a degree okay so I think now we can go and zoom to the river by structural analysis and design our stair so let's get started we should start with the line so we have radius 1 so radius is 1 okay, do like this 1 meter and here I can put just uh, 1 and the head is 3 meter you see I put value okay and we have we have our so please first we should uh, design we should consider our profile our profile for the column first for the column for the column I have oh yes was that let me find it let me find it circular let's find the dimension we have there we have we can add it and we can add even the profile the profile for the step we have this uh, yes it's enough I think so yes now we can start designing our our stair the profile is there okay we have our column we have our column so we should move it to the center we click it there to here so we should raise the first one we we'll raise the first one okay now we have our profile that we should put here the profile was the profile is there the profile just put it from here to there okay we can check it we have our two profile okay now I think I think I need your attention please be focused on because it's important thing that you are gonna do you need to be focused to understand what you going to do now so to design this kind of form of staircase I mean cause the spiral staircase you need to first true erasa I mean rubber by structural analysis get to the addition to addition you need to go to transformation multiple you click there once you click there you have this you have this you have this so first as a vector as a vector you need to put the translation vector what is the translation vector the translation vector it means it's not nothing is nothing than just rising rising means what you need to get to river by structural analysis from according to from uh, true x direction we have o comma we have o comma true y direction we have o comma and the true uh, I mean true z direction we have our rising we have this means what we have o comma and 80 this is the first thing that you should understand the 18 is according to its true z direction that's why true x direction it's all 
true y direction it's o and true z direction it's our rising means 18 i think you should, you understand now so from the uh from the the end of our axis we can just uh the start first we should change the start is here and the end of our our um, axis is there okay so oh please uh, what's going on what's going on okay oh uh, it was all like this all like this like this and oh 18 the start is there from there to there and we put just degree we said that was 14 degree and the end of axis is there this is the end of axis so our center center the center is here the center is here we should check so the number here the number of repetition it means what we need to find the number of uh, our the number of uh, I, mean, uh, I mean rising we have 18 we have 18 rising so we should took this number 17 I mean oh uh, yes 17 revolution so please I uh, need to go on corner coming rebrand okay uh, here I am back so I was in the corner sorry for this disagreement so yes uh, that's why I come back so we were saying uh, for the vector we need O means O true x direction or true well i mean y direction and 18 true z direction why 18 because this is a rising for the signal value or uh, the beginning of axis the beginning of axis means what it's where your uh, stair is going to start our stair is going to start here i have the value just introduced directly there the hand of our axis it's here and like this i have the hand of axis and the degree here is 18 we've already evaluated that here it's 18 degree so as 18 degree we can directly the number of repetition is 1870 so now we can apply oh okay no nothing has been selected nothing has been selected so now we can apply so we have this as our stair this is our stair so we can close this and rest the one who's there even the node I raise the node and raise this node too. So I can erase this too. I can erase this too. And the pull just uh, select this node. Pull. Yes, we have this. So we can see what we've designed. It's like this. We can see it. And just like this okay it's better to see like this that we have uh, it's not really mm, the degree is not really we should normally arrive to you but no problem depend on uh, it's our case that draws us like this but uh, most of the time we have a uh, 2 and uh, 70 degree Okay, it's just because we raise one of 
one step here and one step here normally we should have uh, the we should have two and seventy degree okay no problem this was the first thing that you should do in designing spiral staircase the second one is here let's come back once you design stair I mean uh, spiral staircase cases I mean you need to know for your I mean step you need to know what of the uh, what kind of the load we have a step trade load we have the two possibility of load we have the study the step are designed for a distributed load of true uh, of 4 kN per, per meter square or spot load into a surface of this like this we put it just almost at the end for us, we're going to consider the second case. The second case. It means what? I came here. I designed first my dead load case. I came. PP. PP. Why PP? Because there's a space French. They call it uh, a poor propre. That's why I call it PP. So, this was the first case. The second case is a live case I mean I call it, I call it GX I should copy and paste here and for this I should select 6 7 8 9 10 12 uh, 10 11 till 21 from 6 6 to 21 enter okay so I have to go just here in the first case I have a shoot intro done minus 3 as a value there then I have we can check it here it's my value my value I have it okay so after putting my my load case I think we should now make the combination from the combination we call to addition we call it ED 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 like this means I take the first case the second case this I come back in the view so we show now design okay where is that where's this node we should okay now we redo again okay no more problems so we can just take for example one case like this and like this evaluate for which case the case three we have this but we should understand there's there's one thing that we didn't do we we didn't do it's a uh, first we should select this we should select this and go through this uh -huh. like this and this so uh, now we can design we have now for this case like this tree okay we have notes we can have a complete note like this control P uh, we 
like we have a true PDF creator. So we have our notes. We have our note. I can put it for example my desktop. My desktop I have this. This is the notes. Okay. I'm using a record because if you don't use a record it seems to be or uh, you can use all the the rules that you uh, normally use for example in your country so you can just say keep up keep the same uh, procedure you can use aha we have some problem with our columns it means that we need to change the section of our columns let's take just let's go back again in uh, on our section profile and take the profile that's coming just after uh, this other one okay so mm -hmm. and uh, according to this we were we had this and it doesn't work we can check this we can check this check this section of column so let me write it it's 193 dot 7 multiplied by 4 dot 4 comma 5 okay let's find this section on the box section box oh we have circular now we looking for Just take one ninety three seven five. Mm, Why is this one ninety three seven five? Okay, okay. Let's see if it can work. So, let close, close, and apply. Okay, we apply. case I hope uh, this uh, quick lesson uh, which was suggested by one of my friends from Cambodia uh, what I love her so he said that it will be better if I uh, help uh, people or uh, learner quick learner with uh, videos querying with the pure step case so I hope you benefit from uh, uh, those video just stick around Next video, we're gonna see how to design a bridge. To design a bridge from uh, in Revit Structural Analyze Revit Structural. So we, I'm going to show you how to take, for example, your bridge from Infrared 260, import it to Revit, Revit, and through Revit, how to import it to into Robobat Structural Analysis and through robot structural analysis how to analyze your your bridge thank you for watching this video that was once more your 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 server your servant your helper your servant is a guide it was searching duty you can contact me and feel free and you already welcome to contact me through one of the possibility that's feeling you better you can contact me through facebook by tapping just set your duty or to twitter or to linkedin or to this mail address or you can contact me directly thank you and have a good time